Mexico City is the capital of Mexico. It is also one of the largest cities in the world. After the Spanish conquest in 1521, Mexico City was constructed. Over the ruins of the Aztec capital, the city of Tenochtitlan. The Aztecs left their homeland, Aslan, in the year 1 Flint, that is believed to be 1065. The codices Boturini of Vanna Nascatlitan depict Aslan as an island. Even though the etymology of Aslan is still unclear, most scholars agree that Aslan means the place of herons or whiteness. Alternative versions postulate that the Aztec homeland was Chicomostoc. Chicomostoc means in Nahuatl seven caves. Chicomostoc was also the place of origin of other ethnic groups. The seven caves were inside the core mountain of Culhuacan. The Aztecs left Aslan guided by their god Wichilopostli, the southern hummingbird, in order to find the promised land. Also, Wichilopostli changed their name from Aztec to Mexica. After years of migration, wars and conflicts, they finally settled on an island in the lake of Texcoco, and they founded Tenochtitlan in 1425. The establishment of the Triple Alliance in 1428 was the beginning of their empire that lasted until the Spanish conquest in 1521. To understand the meaning of the Aztec art, we rely on different sources of information, such as Spanish chronicles, native codices and accounts, and archaeological research. The sunstone was found in 1790 during the repairs of the Metropolitan Cathedral. It is located in the Museo Nacional de Antropología in Mexico. It depicts the Mexica cosmology and time conception. According to the myth of the suns, the first sun of the era was called Four Jaguar. Tezcatlipoca, the smoky mirror, was the sun for Jaguar. He was the sun for 676 years until Quetzalcoatl knocked him from the sky. When Tezcatlipoca fell from the sky, he became a jaguar and he ate the giants who inhabited the earth. Quetzalcoatl was the second sun and he was called Forewind. The feathered serpent was also the sun for 676 years. Tezcatlipoca attacked Quetzalcoatl with his tiger claws. When Quetzalcoatl fell from the sky, he transformed into a destructive wind. The survivors of the catastrophe were turned into monkeys. Tlaloc, the god of rain, became the third sun. Tlaloc was called sun for rain. He was the sun for 364 years until Quetzalcoatl took him from the sky. When Tlaloc fell from the sky, a fire rain began. The lightning killed most people. The survivors turned into birds. Chalchuktlikwe, the goddess of water, became the fourth sun. She was called sun for water and she was the sun for 312 years. When she fell from the sky, the earth flooded and the survivors turned into fish. 
The gods reunited in the ancient city of Teotihuacan in order to choose a new son. Two gods were the candidates, Texistecatl and Anahuatzin. In order to become the son, the candidate had to jump into the fire. Texistecatl hesitated, Nanahuatzin jumped into the fire. Texistecatl felt ashamed and jumped into the fire. Both goats turned into celestial bodies. A rabbit was thrown at Texistecatl in order to overshadow him. Nanahuatzin became the sun and Texistecatl the moon. All the gods also sacrificed, with the aim of giving movement to the sun and the moon. The fifth sun was called for movement and it needed sacrifices to exist. The Mexica's duty was to fit the zone for movement that appears at the center of the stone. It was Tlatuani's responsibility to keep the sun in the sky. This stone commemorates Moctezuma II's coronation in 1503. And it also depicts the myths of the sons. This sculpture was also made during the kingdom of Moctezuma II in order to commemorate a new fight on Tenochtitlan's imperial power. It was a royal front. The year two house at the top was the year of the foundation of the city in 1325. Huichilopochtli and Moctezuma II surround the Sun Fork movement. Both characters speak war. They are in charge to feed the sun and the earth through warfare. The lateral sides of the front portray the Mexica ancestors. The signs of the date one dead and one flint speak war. Both signs have smoking mirrors and are related to Tezcatlipoca. At the back of the front, it's carved the emblem of Tenochtitlan. The Mexica found their new home guided by Huitzilopochtli's prophecy. They founded their city on an island where an eagle landed on a cactus. Despite the Mexica's commitment to feed the sun with sacrifices, they expected the sun to collapse and become a destructive earthquake. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. And please don't forget to follow us on social media. Bye.